Hey guys, this is Ed. Today I will show you how to remove stereo system out of your Ford Fusion 2010. Um, let's start. So first thing first, we have to we have to remove this panel right here. All right. To do so, we take the rubber we have here, take it out, and just drop it on the floor. Then we take 8 millimeter socket. So unscrew two screws, 8 millimeter. All right. Take this out. Uh, next step, we have to take the flathead screwdriver and carefully, carefully, carefully do like this. I have to take what I'm gonna, what I'm doing. I'm putting it between. Try not to scratch this this panel right here. So we carefully put it inside and just raise till you hear a click. Okay. So this is unplugged because there's a pin right here. Now, same thing over here. Just carefully. Okay. Okay, once we have this loose, you're pretty much set because all you're gonna do next is you remove these screws, which are two screws right here. So what happened when I uh, I did this before, there was a little problem because uh, the vent fell inside and I had to take this off. But right now it looks easy because it goes off easy, but the thing is, Previously, I'll take this out, I'll show you. Okay, um, there are two connector wires behind this right now. I'm gonna unplug them and uh, show you further. Okay, now, now let me show you this. I don't know if, if I did something wrong or uh, if I did something wrong. Um, it was closed, right? So I tried to raise it. It wasn't raising. Something was holding it. And I looked inside. I see this thing. Whatever it is. See? It's, it's not wires, it's not metal wire, it's nothing, it's just a plastic, plastic strip. See? So this thing was just holding this cover right here. You could actually unscrew it, but what I did, I just, I just used these, okay? And the... Uh, I mean, it's not doing any function. W w w what is it for? Uh, guys, if you know, please comment, because uh, I'm not sure. I, I might have broken something in the car. I don't think so. But, uh, you know. So, further. And uh, so I just snapped this thing off. That's it. So now, uh, next step, we take 7 millimeter socket and we're going to unscrew these two. Okay, I took the two screws out. Uh, by the way, if your uh, air airbag light is gonna come on, yes, it is, because we uh, replaced this uh, connector, the small one. Uh, but still, that is not a problem because once you plug it in, turn off the car, turn it on, it's gonna go away. So now, what we have to do? Take our screwdriver and carefully over here or even better if we can put it right here and just pry it out right off here and here okay good so we pried it out we have the top loose now at this point it depends what you want to do if you want to take the this part out you just unscrew these two screws these two and these two and pull it out 
but most likely you want to replace the radio in this case we will have to take the whole panel out okay at this point when we have the top loose okay we need to get the bottom loose I'm gonna clip the top back here uh, this and uh, so first thing we need to pry this silver trim get it out put it here uh, next step we need to take a screwdriver and carefully somehow raise this plastic right here okay you can scratch as much as you want the bottom of here inside but don't scratch the uh, this this right here because this is the visible part so once you have it you can just make it loose like this once you have this thing loose you have to take the same screwdriver and get this this trim this uh, piece uh, loose okay to do so you can put screwdriver in here just raise it like this and it's out okay carefully there are wires connected to the cigarette lighter and this is how you can just leave it like that okay at this point you just unclip oh, okay. unclip the face okay what do we have here let's pull it a little bit so we can get nice axis and uh, at this point just unplug all the connectors which are plugged to whatever here I'll turn the car off just to not put it in park now otherwise it's gonna Come on, shut up. Okay, and I'm taking all the connectors out. Okay, once we have our face off, we can just leave it here. Now this is what we get. The radio. This is the clock or something, maybe the trip computer. Okay, um, so further this is seven millimeter, I believe. Take our seven mm, uh, take the radio out. We take seven mill seven millimeter socket and taking these four screws out. Okay, well once we have our four screws out, you can just pull the radio out. Alright, okay. And this is how we put it out, so there's not much to show anymore. Uh, this is the antenna, you can get it out some other wires uh, you just plug them out take the new radio put it in I mean plug the connectors to new radio and uh, put them back in so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just get this whole thing together now so just take the radio put it back in once you have the four screws back in take our faceplate and plug all the connectors once you have all the connectors connected you just wiggle it in place uh, put the lower first okay once we have this thing in place we can just put our plastic uh, raise this thing and then because this thing goes first get it in place and then click this nice we take the plastic trim get it the right way because it has different positions you could put it actually on two different positions get it in click it till the end okay so I need to raise it again because if you have this problem here we have to redo it I wasn't careful enough so I didn't see so I'm gonna again I'm gonna raise this then I get it in right in place I have to raise it more ok 
Okay, one more. I have to. I didn't. Okay, so I'll finish with this. Then you put the trim back on. Okay, I finished here. We take the seven millimeter screws. Put them back in place here. here okay, so we have here. our screws back in. We take okay. the top. Make sure the your vents are aligned correctly. Put the top back on. First, we have to connect our connectors. Okay, so connect the connectors and. Uh, okay, so pretty much down. the last thing. Uh, we take the other eight, two eight millimeter screws, put them in places, and then put the rubber back in place. So this is it. It's very simple, as you can see. And if this helps, press like. If not, comment. And yeah, by the way, about that thing that I cut it there. Let me know what is that if you know. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy.